Welcome back to MLB The Show 18 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyron Saber. Last time, Jason got traded to the Mets. Yeah, I'm going to do my best not to be too shell-shocked about it like I was with the Marlins last time, so we'll get over it. Um, turns out that the Mets lost Jacob deGrom to a shoulder tear for a couple weeks, and in the middle of a fairly, not extremely, but fairly tight uh, wildcard race here, I mean, it's not even uh, impossible that we could get back into the first place and win the pennant or win the division for the season either. Um, they elected that they needed to make a deal to get a pitcher in to make up for him. And, of course, Jason has been turning heads in Miami for the last month and a half. So what wound up happening was they made a call and they dealt me for to them they dealt me to the Mets for a couple players from uh, from the Marlins yep dealt me for Thomas and uh, Tomas Nito Jamie Callahan a, a prospect and Garth Raimo for Jason Parham which is fine I guess but then the Mets dealt Noah Syndergaard to the Mariners for James Paxton and Kyle Seeker so I don't know what's going on here Probably needed a little extra thump in the in the lineup because um, haven't been doing so good of late, apparently. But 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 we are back in the rotation. James Paxton is now the ace. Jason Parm is the number two. Uh, Stephen Matz, Robert Guzelman, and Tanner Roark are the rest of our rotation. And I promised somebody that I was going to change up Jason's gear a little bit because he's been wearing that stupid Miner's batting helmet for the last year and a half, and I think it's probably time. He thought it was probably time to change it up, and I'm inclined to agree, so. Chin guard, no chin guard. Chin guard, no chin guard. I think we'll go with, just because Jason's got to protect that cranium of his. So there's that. And I think that's about all. So let's carry on. All right, bullpen day. Circle control, circle velocity, circle, circle break. It was pointed out to me that Jason has not been getting very, you know, his control ratings have kind of stagnated, and that's true. Splitter. Well, I mean, based on the rest of the season, I'm not sure if I'm going to be around to learn this again, but I guess I will leave it up to you guys. Um, I'm not going to pick it today, but do you think I should pick a splitter as Jason's number five pitch? And as I've said before, the splitter initially starts out like a fastball, but it loses speed and starts to drop right as it gets to the plate. So it works functionally as something like a, like a change-up. And Jason already has a circle change, but it might be worth it to uh, learn something different. So I will leave a poll for you guys to weigh in upon, and I guess we will look at it later. But in the meantime, what else have we got? Durability and hit home runs per nine? Well, you all know how uh, Jason's been doing on the home runs, so I think maybe that's the way to go today. Get it, boy, get it. A pitcher is encouraged to keep looking for improvement. Oh boy, more practice. So, I guess I'll see you on the flip side of this one. Yeah, it wasn't the worst I've ever done. Missed out on gold probably by that one appearance, but hey, still got some bonuses. Base gains. Okay, looks like they have us going out there in, uh, what the hell is it? City Field against the Chicago Cubs, so let's get it. From the borough of Queens, we're at the home of the Mets, City Field. Today, it's the second of his three-game series between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Mets. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next.
Jason Harum gets the starting nod for the Mets. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a real solid season up to this point. ERA under 3.5, which is saying something in these high-scoring games we see now in the game of baseball. This guy knows how to pitch, and if he's on, he knows how to minimize the damage. He'll be fun to watch in this one. At the plate, William Bauer. He will lead this one off today. All right, see what we can do with these guys. First the Cubbies have kind of knocked that Jason around a little bit in the and last couple of outings this afternoon as the space afternoon is the first pitch is over for a cold strike one. Actually, scratch that. I believe they've only faced him the once, but that was plenty. Hey, like you can up there, huh? The wind up and the 0-1. Chopped weakly to the left. Rosario's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, of course, you have to like what Anthony Rizzo brings to this offense. He's having a really nice season, hitting over 300 coming into this one. We all know that that's the magic number. When you hit over 300 for a season, you've got plenty to be proud of. Now we'll see if he can keep it up over the rest of the year. Digging in now, Albert Almora, and he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. First delivery to him. Really don't want to hang this curve, Looks and I certainly did, but then I got away corner. with it. Good afternoon to turn on the fire hydrants here in Gotham. 92 degrees here at first pitch. Hey, One out, nobody on. Honestly, I was about to call it Shea Stadium earlier, and I couldn't remember the name of the ball, the new ballpark. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. I'm not going to go to the middle of the strike zone if I can help it. Towards second. And there's out number two. Not bad. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. Anthony Rizzo. Just in case you guys need a reminder, our battery mate today is Kevin Ploiecki. Our infield is Jay Bruce, Wilmer Flores, Eugenio Suarez, and Ahmed Rosario at third. And our outfield is Juventus Cespedes in left, Adam Eaton in center, and Michael Conforto in right. Outfield Oop, shaded toward right good. center. Here's the first pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald as you see the rest of our umpire Look at that crew face. in this one. You know, you got to take your time face. and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has that's a not tendency a man in to there. move that's his a own machine. around, usually set, it's a machine settling piloting in, in a those middle innings. You know, all you ask God for umpires damn to be consistent you. at times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, you. <laughs> particularly from a pitcher standpoint. The 1-0. He's looked at for the first strike. Rob Manfred is a goddamn monster. Hey, get your pitch up there, huh? Go, man. Hey, let it fly. Let's go right here. A ball hey. and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Didn't like that call, and I can't blame him, but hell, if the umpire mind says it's good, it's good. The one two. Misses low. Good hmm. take on the curveball there. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. Well, the ideal was always to make it something he couldn't hit. So the fact that he didn't swing at it is just 
good bet, uh, good plate discipline. Here now the two-two. But it doesn't help me all that much. Hit on Ow. the ground down the first baseline. Whoa, right back at him, and it hit him. Nice comeback. He's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Cubs are down in order. Now the Mets step nice up on that for one, their Jay. first shot. That looked like it hurt. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. He comes into this one sixth in the National League in home runs. It's a good thing we've been working on Jason's uh, durability. Good to tank those hits because I don't want to be pulled out after the first inning again. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. The one mm, these cutters are nervous. Looked at for ball number two. Well, he's not going Schwarber for the inside is ball. He's a big so. threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. Anything going away yeah, from that's him foul. goes right into his bat pad. Now the two oh, one. I don't like this. It's a high drive to left, back toward the wall, but he's gonna yep. run out of room. It's gone. Kyle Schwarber, ladies and gentlemen. A solo home run for Kyle Schwarber, number 25 for him on the year, and the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. So in now for Chicago, Wilson Contreras. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Well, pull your pants back up and try it again, Jay. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Get hard back up the middle. And that's oh, good for a hit. More hits. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Here's Javier Baez. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. In there, 0 and 1. Sneak a change up past him on first pitch. Contreras on at first, nobody out. Missed with a breaking ball. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. The 1-1 one, one home. Inside uh, fastball, that's not inside, inside but... Boy, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last... All right, let's pop that showtime. Get that change up low and inside. Oh, like to have that pitch back. Oh, for take a good swing mm. at that one. That's the kind of contact I needed. Through for a base but hit. not and in that the spot that I wanted. No further than second, as there are two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once. But you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots that one through the right that side. That normally, that a that vacated that spot that right that there. That Nine that out of ten that times, that somebody's that there that to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now we've got a couple of guys on. Oh, and one the count. Hmm. Having some trouble here. Pitch. From the stretch. And it's fouled away.
Here it comes on nothing Curve and ball. two. This one's down to third. Right at Scooped up on the back Rosario for the one. double play. On to first to complete the double play. Oh, that double play gave him a really good chance to minimize the damage here. One run has come across, but now he just has to work to strand that runner at third. Would be pretty huge if he can do that. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tyler Chatwood. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Continuing to screw with my brain, they're batting the pitcher eighth instead of ninth. Hey, here we go. You got this. Here's the first. They're going with the second leadoff hitter, the number nine hole hitter. Idea, but I don't know, man. The math doesn't really work out on that. They get fewer plate appearances than anybody further up the lineup. He said, "Here's the 0-1, and a fastball just a bit high." General idea being, you want to have all your good hitters clumped together so that they can drive each other in. Breaking ball in for a strike. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. And that one stayed hmm. too low, apparently. Hey, she didn't rip it there. Hey, need you right here, kid. Drive something. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit out towards second. Oh, for he lays out, but sake. He can't make the play, and it's through into right. Great. And that Pitcher hits. Their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. Hey, d -Row, they're off to a nice 2-0 lead right here. Now I think it's time to keep the pressure on and try to add on. Yeah, this guy's a quality pitcher, and you know at any moment he gets into a rhythm, he can rattle off some donuts up there. So this is a nice job by the offense, but not I done yet. Ruben St. Odd. In now, Ruben St. Odd. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Boy, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. All right, get me out of here. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. So two runs on four hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Gross. On now to the bottom of the second. The Cubs lead this one two to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, William Bauer. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Hey, see it. Drive it. Let's go, big dog. The 1 1. See if he'll go after this low fastball. Very weakly on the ground. But that one rolls foul. And then a high cutter? Yeah, hell, sure. Hey, nobody out. Nobody out. Take it outside, though. That's not outside, Jason. Come on. Locate. Help me out here. Let's go with that low curve ball. And he struck him out. Well, that's a strikeout. Have a seat and get comfortable. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Up next for the Cubs, right fielder, Albert Alvarez. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Jr. He swings and sends oh, a bullet to right field. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. 
Not awesome. in time. Doubles. He's in there with a double. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Digging in for his second at bat, Anthony Rizzo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here we go. First offering on its way. And he just Ooh. misses with a curveball. You know, I think he's having a hard time with that curveball right now, and that's part of the reason why he struggled early on in the start. It's so important to have command of those secondary pitches, or hitters just start sitting on the hard stuff. Runner's back. I didn't like that pitch call. Come on, big guy, one time. Here you go. Got a swing on the change up but he got contact to it so not great cutter down the first baseline and he'll take this one to the back for the out but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 and feet to no, third base jay bruce there at first now the Cubs four hole hitter Kyle Schwarber he got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Yeah that last at bat daddy he turned that fastball around he didn't hit it a ton he didn't hit it a country mile but hey listen a home run is a home run. And he hit that right off the outside corner so I don't like that. From the belt kicks and deals. He's got a piece of the fastball that time as it's chopped foul at the plate for strike one. Guy, Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A breaking ball taken on the inside corner. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. Curveball. Now Tap a swing it. and a chopper foul right at home plate. Now it's time to speed him up, take him inside. Top corner cutter. See if you can catch up. Fouled away. Not quite. Almora on third with two out. One outside? Sure. Heck, why not? High in the air out to center field. And a can of corn out there to center. Not a problem. And that retires the side. One left for the Cubs. They're up two to nothing. Come on, fellas, let's go. Leading off the inning, Jason Harum, and they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ooh. That was. Mm. And I'm not Ooh, sure, but it looks like cutter, he may have been blindfolded wow. for that swing. It's 0-2 now. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there. And that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. It's five pitch mix, so one, he's got two. enough to work with. Is a wave Ooh, and a miss wow. and struck him out. That's Have a, a pretty seat, Jason, and get comfortable. Guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered. All right. Ready for another chance? Wilson Contreras. He reached on a single in his first try. Hey, no one down here. Pitch on the way. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. Cut her away. Um, okay. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And that one just, just missed outside. 
Game of inches here. I know they say that about football, but it's literally true short. in baseball Suarez as well. Comes up with it. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Difference between a ball and a strike is a matter of inches. Now to look at some of the future plans for this Mets organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. Man, they got some mashers here in the, the Mets uh, farm system. 538 with five homers. Bring that guy up. Riding in once again, Javier Baez. Batter, number nine, second baseman, Javier Baez. First offering on its way. A fastball right down the middle for mm. a strike. That was a gift Two wrap runs, present that he hits. just passed no right up. So the nerve of him. How dare he. Come on, big guy. See it up. Drive it right back up the box. Let's go. Drilled right back up the middle. And here we go. Get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Hey, nice one right there. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball season. Bottom line is, this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Now, batter. Short stop. Here's Addison Russell. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Come on, now this two ball right here. Come on, let it fly. And we got one down. Baez breaks here we go. Nope. Pitch misses low. Bad the start. Throw down. You're dead. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base runner. Two I runs, think that six had hits. just as much no to do with it so being kind of a bad, star, a bad jump from the runner because that was a changeup, and he got thrown out on a changeup. And this one's going to get... Down low, and the plot mm. thickens here. Come on, Jay. Three and O. Oh. He's been throwing strikes all day, so you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. Yeah. Cub shortstop with a three and one count. Well, that was a challenge pitch, and he just kind of passed up on it. Three and one. Here it yeah, is. How about a changeup? That was another wide at first, but boy, that gift had some pitch that one was, but he, again, he just kind of passed up on it. All right. Try that showtime high and inside. See if he can catch it or pop it up or Fouled off. foul it off or what? Or what about covers it? 3-2 pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The payoff Oop. pitch one more time. It's bad. Worked, but it was a bad. That's mine. And Bruce will make the catch, and the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Cubbies are in front, two to nothing. Digging in to try it again, Tyler Chatwood looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Alright, okay. See if we can't Here's the first pitch get this guy. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And a breaking ball mm, stays that outside. Was real tight. We've seen this before. Fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. Cubs pitcher at the plate mm, trailing with a one and two count. Bit of a questionable call in my, in my opinion, but hey, I'm not calling the balls and strikes today. Here he comes on a ball Here's and that two cutter strikes. high outside. And he looks 
Ooh, that was a little loose. But I'll take my strikeouts wherever I get them. Ready now, Ruben St. Odd. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Hey, we got one. Hey, like the Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. And a fastball Oof. just a bit up. St. Odd, a six foot one inch left handed hitter, but throws right handed. This is his first year at the big league level. Foul that one off. Bases are empty, one man out. Fine. Go with another change up, I think. That's not a good one. And he Punished. turns on one, sending it high and deep Ooh. to right. Go! Crap. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Cubs have taken a 3 nothing lead. Well, oh, goodness. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Right onto that low deck. How about that? Third baseman, number two, William Bauer. Stepping in now, William Bauer. And she'll take a first pitch curveball mm. right down Hung the it. middle for strike one. He's Man. 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Jason, you're not having your best day today. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. Hey, come on, baby. See it. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Love that pitch right there. And he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early, and they can't make good contact on that pitch. I'm going to go away with this next one because they've all been inside. The one, two. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Yeah, you got it. No one How about one high down. and inside? All right, one time, right here. Come on, guys. Mm. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. As long as you actually get it inside. That two-seam fastball running towards the hands is a really good pitch. All right. Here's a tough one. Now a pitch skied out to center field for Adam Somebody Eaton. get it. Come on. And there's the second out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Albert Almora, a hit in two tries for him so far. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. Bust the bases are empty here with two men out. That curveball. And a pitch in the dirt as he Nothing. lays off. It's one Nothing and doing, one. Huh? Well, okay. One one. A one, one, one. The first baseline. Oh, a knocked it down. And, oh, he can't hang on. And by Crap. the time he recovers, they'll have no play on him at first. It's an infield single. Ready for another shot Good. now. Anthony Rizzo. He was retired from the ground ball last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
laid off as it caught the inside corner. Almora is off of first with two away. Here we go now. Come on now, one time. All right. Can I get that curveball off the corner? Can I get him to swing at it more importantly? Doubt it. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Swing and get him a miss to swing at that one. Breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Last Ooh. half of the fifth coming up. Cubs lead it 3 to nothing. That may be Jason's day, depending. Mason Ibarra will yep. get the call here as he'll hit for the pitch. Not my best outing. We'll just have to find out how the Mets do without us. So, survey says. Wow, a nine out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a Five guy in the back of your bullpen. Eight hits, that three runs, kind of nine on two one home runs, the this one ends. And three the strikeouts. Cubs took the lead in the second inning and rode that. Jason's ERA regresses to 3.51. His FIP has climbed to 4.05. His XFIP remains at 3.83. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB. And the that'll show. do it for, for me. So until next time, I'm Tyron Saber. I'll see you at the ballpark.